In this video we're going to talk about two color schemes, the analogous color scheme and the analogous color scheme with complements. The first one we're going to talk about is the analogous color scheme, but actually to understand both of them we we'll want to be working with a color wheel. It'll actually help us understand this a little bit better. In this case I've got my advanced color wheel. Uh, this is a project that we worked on uh, on watercolor methods. There's three videos on creating this and if you'd like to go back and create this if you don't have it you can click the links below. Those buttons below will take you to those videos. If you don't have this but you have some other color wheel handy one that you've gotten uh, somewhere, maybe it's commercially printed or it's one that you've created for another class, that'll be fine. The principles are the same. Uh, what we do want to do, however, when we're looking at this is find, have a way to isolate certain sections of the color wheel so that we can identify uh, various analogous color schemes. Now you can do that quickly and easily if you have a piece of, old piece of, old corner from a, a uh, mat that maybe is no good for matting anymore, but it'll work for this. You can use this very quickly and easily. Since it's a 90 degree angle, it's going to show you essentially or isolate a, a quarter of that color wheel at, uh, really at any given time. It's quick and easy. I have my color wheel mounted to a piece of foam core board with a push pin in the middle that helps me keep this centered. So you can do that. It's quick and easy. Uh, I've actually created a little template that goes right along with this particular color wheel and that's what I'm going to use for this. So let's get back to the analogous color schemes. Uh, you can see I've got it written here and I've got this cut out in my template which is again it's 90 degrees just like my um, piece of mat board. It's 90 degrees uh, and it isolates for me groups of colors that are near each other, that are grouped together on my color wheel. So I can really spin, put this on, spin it around, see various different groups of colors uh, that may work for whatever painting I might have in mind. But quite simply, those are analogous color schemes. You find a group that are together on the color wheel and that's an analogous color scheme. You can use these color schemes, the analogous color schemes in your painting and when you do you'll get a great deal of color harmony. The painting will hold together very well with that limited number of colors that you're using. It's also going to, depending on the colors, whether they're warm colors like this or perhaps cooler colors like that, uh, those color schemes will create a very particular mood in your painting so that you will uh, be able to maybe create a bright happy day with warmer colors or uh, something that looks a little more like the middle of winter with a cool set of colors like this. But anyway, that's all there really is to an analogous color scheme is a group of colors that are together on a color wheel. Now if you're really going to paint with an analogous color scheme like this, it often really helps to have some nice color accents that are the complement of that color scheme. So in this case for this particular color scheme which really includes uh, everything from red violet to blue violet, this is ultramarine blue which is actually a blue violet. So if I have this color scheme, uh, basically everything from red violet to blue violet, having some nice warm yellow complements will actually enhance the look of that color scheme in my painting. Uh, now these would not dominate but they would be nice color accents and they will actually visually create the sense of a much wider color range than you're actually using in the painting. So really those are the basics for the analogous color scheme and the analogous color scheme with complement. Uh, again, if you've got a color wheel and you can get yourself either make yourself a cutout template like this or get yourself a piece of mat board like this and use that to isolate different color schemes. I'd encourage you to uh, play with them, do little color studies with them. There, we've got some videos online that, that actually do that. Uh, do some little color studies with these various schemes just to get an idea of what they do, what mood they produce, uh, what limitations you may have with the color scheme in terms of uh, being able to get a nice range of value. All of that is tied up in color and we'll be exploring that in, in further videos. Anyway, uh, there it is, analogous color schemes and analogous with complement color schemes. I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, play around with it and uh, you'll get to know it really, really quickly.